Hi everyone, I'm Brian Jones, the Sunday Carpenter. And today, I'm trying to get rid of a stuck spring pin. And if all goes well, I'll install these carbon bushings too. You can see here the stuck spring pin. I mentioned it in my last video. Wish me luck as I try to get rid of it today using various hammers, mallets, nails, screws, and anything else I can use to try to push that sucker out. Once I get that stuck spring pin out, I'll be able to take the handle off and remove the motor housing. With the housing off, I'll have access to the bushings which go in back here. Currently, I cannot get my screwdriver in there to get the bushing housings open. This side seems to be less of it sticking out than this side. Since this one's sticking out more, let's push from the side that's already kind of pushed in. This was the hinge on an old kerosene heater I had. I took it apart because it stopped working, but I don't know, I kept onto the few of these hinges, kind of similar to what you'd see in a door jam. So I thought it might be useful. And it turns out, it's a slightly smaller diameter than our stuck spring hope it'll work. Push that out. Let's give it a tap or two. Let's give it a tappy tap. Oh my goodness, it seems to be working. So after just a few taps and some spray, the spring pin is about halfway out. Looks like today is going to be a fine day. off this handle which I know I can get off the faceplate then I should have complete access to the motor oh god I love coffee on a cold wet day the handle and the spring pin came off quite simply I'm surprised thanks for the good advice and then Keep that spring pin and try to use it again later. I'm going to put the handle back on. It doesn't seem to be damaged. Next is this handle. It's coming off. And it should come off. It's just a regular old screwdriver. Looks like I need to get a big pair of pliers. sound you just heard was a pheasant. There's a lot. There it is again. There's a lot in the mountains around my house. Nobody hunts them though. It gives me access to where the bushings need changing. Let's get these 
bushings opened up and replaced. I don't know if the camera's getting this, but there's so much wood dust coming out of here. in a new bushing. That's pretty simple. A lot of the stuff stuck in here seems white and chalky. So they may have been using this to cut dry board, a drywall, stuff like that. That's it, the bushings are changed. Um, if you've got a machine like this, and you've got, you're able to get the ho motor housing out easily, then changing the bushings and stuff should be pretty easy for you. Uh, this machine was pretty old and I don't think very well cared for, so it's kind of hard to get this thing off. But now that it's off, this part of it's quite simple. Well, we got the handle off, I got the motor housing removed, and I've got the bushings replaced. All in all, a good rainy Sunday. If you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. extra footage we're gonna to try to clean this up look inside and see what's in here I mentioned before there was a lot of dust encrusted back here in the vent area it looked kind of like drywall dust so I might need to get a vacuum and some spray and clean up the inside check to see if the bearings are shot or not they probably are but let's take a look <laughs>